All right, guys, so today we're gonna talk about some backup blades. Now, for me, to be honest, I feel like I don't really end up using backup blades that much, uh, at least for everyday carry, but there is one spot that I do particularly end up, at least when it comes to folding knives, using a lot of backup blades. But I thought I would talk about the first few, the first couple knives that I would use as backup blades for everyday carry. So the first one for me is the Tour Chasm. Now this guy is the Chasm Widow in particular because it has a cool G10 handle on one side, but ultimately the Chasm for me, I think would make a pretty darn good backup blade because of the fact that it is so darn small. This guy is pretty darn tiny as you guys can see like in my hand. It does, it is like large enough for a full full forefinger grip for me. Uh, this definitely would not be for I think a lot of my viewers, but I do have like medium sized hands, which functionally means that they're small, but uh, this thing does work for me and it does fit comfortably enough but I think ultimately having that super super tiny blade as you can see there uh, just makes it very compact very easy and it's one of those knives that's easy to basically set and forget you know and so ultimately I think this would make a really good backup blade and uh, being that it is a Tonto you know it has a number of kind of utilitarian functions especially for the subtle area right here that makes it very nice very easy to control the depth of what Whatever you're cutting on that spot and then of course having that very nice tip I can act kind of like an exacto knife so it's not too shabby but that would probably be one of my like EDC folding knives as like a backup knife and once again primarily just due to the fact that it's small lightweight and compact that aside from that Another one that I'd probably do, and I feel like a lot of fixed blades in general for me are probably going to be reasonably backup, just because I feel like a folder is so much easier to just, if I wanna like cut open a box or cut open a bag of chips or something, you know, like it's so much easier for me to just whip something like my Delica 4 out, you know, cut open the bag of chips or whatever, put it back in my pocket and forget. However, I do like having a, a knife like this um, Browse Blade Silent Soldier on me because it is super, super common compact, lightweight, and it's something that you can like throw around your neck and completely forget about, especially like say you throw this on your neck like such, and then you know, you just tuck it underneath your shirt. Sorry for the horrible audio, <laughs> my mic's right here, but you know, like you just throw it under your shirt and like now you can't even tell that I have a knife on me, right? So for, so for a situation, like such, I would say something like a Browse Blades Silent Soldier V2 is really a pretty nifty option. Things like that would also work great in this uh, this kind of manner or fashion, I would say, is things like um, Surge or Serge Pinchenko's um, dog tag knife from Spyderco, which they still make. It's not as popular as it used to be, but the uh, little dog tag knife is another one of these kind of like backup blades that is something that once again, you're not going to like, you know, survive out in the wilderness with it forever, but it's a nice option to have. And for what it is like, as far as weight goes, super, super lightweight. You throw it around your neck, you totally forget. Once again, it's like the same size as uh, military dog tags. So it's very easy to forget about. Anyways, for me, for the most part, I would say that most of my backup blades, when it comes to like just in general carrying a knife specifically as a backup blade, end up being folders and primarily for the wilderness. So I like having a really good folder and a strong folder, not necessarily physically like you're able to pound on it kind of thing but one that has a good blade steel a usable edge for more generic tasks once again i think you know like in bush crafting and such there's a lot of tasks that don't require a full-on fixed blade knife to do right if you're carving let's say a tri stick or something you know a little bit more generic um say you're trying to carve like let's say um, a figure four deadfall trap you know is having a fixed blade nice sure but also to most of those tasks could be done with a folding knife and so for that reason something like a Delica 4 and this one in K390 or even something like an Emerson uh, maybe not quite the Minicom I don't know why I grabbed this one in particular but even something like an Emerson Minicom would be just fine um, another one that I end up featuring or not featuring but carrying on me a lot um, is something like my Strider SNG and so you know this is another really good you know kind of backup blade wilderness folder that you know if you're 
wanting something to pair with a fixed blade, you know, this isn't bad. Once again, you know, the fixed blade would probably be what I would recommend if you're going to be gutting out an animal because the amount of blood and other, you know, like fluids that are going to be getting on the knife, you won't want to get in the action of your folding knife. But once again, if you're making things, you know, carving things, a lot of times, you know, even things like feather sticking and striking your ferro rod can be done very easily with these knives. In fact, um, doing those basic tasks, even up to batoning, I was able to do with my, you know, just standard straight edge um, or plain blade um, OTF. Now, granted, once again, OTFs have their weakness, but if you have an OTF as a backup to your main blade, a lot of these tasks can be done pretty easily with something like a folding knife. So understand, you know, there are weaknesses to these folding knives and their intrinsic, uh, you know, locking mechanisms. But outside of that, like, honestly, a lot of these knives will do most generic wilderness tasks pretty well. So like I said, what that ends up meaning for someone like myself or even someone like yourself, you know, you can end up running something like a Benchmade Mini Adamus like this guy and, you know, it'll work perfectly fine for, you know, doing your generic, you know, kind of whittling, carving tasks. And then when you need to step up to doing something that is a little bit more industrious, then you can step into, you know, a, um, fixed blade for those uh, larger tasks. So anyways, in my opinion, that's kind of, for me, my backup blades and what I think about backup blades as a whole, or at least how I use them. Um, for me, like I said, it's a lot more outdoors. Uh, for me, most of the time, I'll throw something like, you know, Delica 4 in my pocket for EDC, and that's kind of enough for me. Um, I do, you know, throw fixed blades on occasionally, and, you know, I will almost always have a multi-tool on me, but uh, yeah. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.